Hi guys, it's Shannon Mojo and today's video is a fucking wild one. I may get murdered after I upload this, but I think that those kind of stories are the best kind of stories, right? I should write my will. Um, hi. The weirdest thing happened to me the other day, and if you're like eight years old, you should not watch this. This is not a story for the young, for the weak-hearted, for the people who are easily grossed out, because this is some fucking weird shit. So, um, I'm just gonna jump right into it, because there is no explanation other than the physical story itself. And the story is a bit anticlimactic. There's not really much of a conclusion. It's more just like, hey, something weird happened to me. Here it is. Do with this information what you will. Subscribe. But I still want to tell it because it's fucking weird as shit, so... Hi. Okay, so like two days ago, my boyfriend's best friend and I went to Panda Express. So not my boyfriend, his best friend. His best friend and I went to Panda Express because my boyfriend was in class and his best friend was not, so we went to eat some panda. By the way, this panda, by the way, when we like got there, the line to eat Panda Express was a one hour wait. Like we waited in this line for one full hour for Panda Express. And when we got up there to get our panda, they tried to give us like four pieces of meat. Like that's it. Like that's, that's literally all the meat they gave us. And I was like, can I have some more? and then they gave me two more pieces of meat and I was like the fuck you mean like it was so weird this panda was so crowded and they were like fucking everyone over on their food like giving everyone small amounts because it was like so crowded and it was like really it was just already weird you know like it, just weird so we wait in this one hour line and we get our Panda Express, our little fucking tiny baby amount of Panda Express. And we're eating our Panda and I am checking my business email. I always forget to check my business email as like much as I should because I, this isn't like business to me, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not one to just like be on it, like what can I get out of this? Like I don't really like think to check it as much as I should, you know? I'm really only interested in getting emails about like collabs or like coming to like BeautyCon or coming to like VidCon or like, you know what I mean? Like cool stuff like that. So I don't check it as often as I should. So when I do get to check it, I have a bunch of emails to read. So I'm finally reading through like all of these emails and I get one and the title of the email, let me find it to you for you. Um, <laughs> is session booking request. That is the title of this email. So I'm sitting in Panda and I start reading it and I'm like, this is really strange. And as I keep reading it, it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. So my boyfriend's best friend, Austin, I show him and I'm like, here, read this email. And he's like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, this is not okay. So now before I continue with the story, I'm gonna go ahead and read you this email. I'm not gonna show their email address, but I am gonna show you that there are literally two unread emails on my Gmail account. Like this is, this is some real shit. Here is the first one that I'm going to read you first and foremost. Okay, so it's from a guy named Jim, and he says, the title of this is Sessions Booking Request. If you were wondering, by the way, why this is starred, it's not because I'm like gonna do it, it's because I was gonna read it in the video, so I like starred it to remember to, okay. So the email reads, the first one anyways, it reads, Greetings, Dana. My name is Jim. I'm 55 and single from Las Vegas. I immediately think this is gonna be like someone trying to date me or like something like that, cause like single, like why would you say single? Like I'm like two years old, like I don't care that you're single. But anyways, my name is Jam and I'm 55 and single from Las Vegas. Came across your Twitter page, you are beautiful and gorgeous. First of all, you didn't come across my Twitter page cause you can't get my um, business email unless you come across my YouTube page. So what are you saying? I don't know, anyways. I have a mutually beneficial proposal for your consideration. Although this may sound a bit odd or weird for you, but I do hope you are open-minded and I would appreciate if you would consider my request. I wish I could meet with you for a fetish session and I will for sure compensate your time. So immediately when I read this, I'm like, it's just some weirdo with the fetish, whatever. He wants me to like tickle his feet for a thousand dollars or something. Like I'm not gonna do it. Like obviously no matter what it is, like I'm not trying to get like murdered and raped and gang banged and killed and whatever. But I didn't think that it was gonna get a lot weirder and it did. So anyways, he says, I would like to schedule a one hour appointment with you on any one of these days between March 1st until March 7th. I am a submissive person looking forward to explore some of my kinks. I hope you are fetish friendly. First of all, what about me makes you think I'm fetish friendly? Like, do you just see like a picture of me like sitting on like a wall like on my Instagram? Like, yep, she likes fetishes. No, also I'm like four years old. Like I, that's, that's literally illegal. Like I'm good, like I'm totally good on that. And I just, yeah, like, again, though, I still thought this was gonna be like a foot fetish, or since he said like submissive, that it was gonna be like, oh, like beat me with a stick, like, you know, like some Fifty Shades of Grey shit. But no, just no. He then proceeds to say, I'm not looking for anything sexual. Due to the nature of this session, this will be strictly fetish only. Nothing sexual and nothing physical. We don't even have to kiss or touch each other. Like, okay, now I'm gonna do it. Like, cool, like, no, okay, anyways. I can book a nice five-star hotel of your choice for the session on a date and time that you prefer. This is where 
if you are not 18 or mature or you, you should leave this video because it gets so weird. Like it gets so weird. Anyways, I have a toilet fetish. I would like to drink your golden shower nectar and I also wish to taste your shit caviar. Subscribe for more videos. Also, would you be willing to pee and poop in the toilet bowl, parentheses, porcelain toilet? Take as much time as you like and you will have your privacy while doing it. I have no problem waiting outside while you are using the toilet in the bathroom. Once you are done using the toilet, make sure not, this is so fucking disgusting, I'm so sorry, like what if my videos come to? Anyways, make sure not to flush it down and just leave the poo slash pee as it is and let it remain there. After you finished, I would then get inside the bathroom and would love to drink your pee and eat your shit straight from the toilet bowl. This is like, this is real, like this is a real, like this is real. Okay. You could as well leave the hotel once you were done using the toilet, and if you would prefer that, I am not expecting anything else from you. I just wish I am lucky enough to get to taste your toilet treats. Me too. <laughs> I would be happy to compensate your time with a minimum donation of $1,000. How much would you like, though? Feel free to quote me a donation amount that you think would be appropriate. What? I'm good, like, no. Also, I don't mind sending you a prior deposit of $500 through online a week prior to our meeting date and the rest $500 in cash up front on the day we meet for the session if you would like that. Let me know what you think. Looking forward, Jim. And now I'm going to read you the second email in a second. But this is the one that I received while I was sitting in Panda Express. And so I show Austin and he's like, that's so fucking weird. Like, that is not okay. Like, people are so fucking weird. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So I eat my meal. And I go to open my fortune cookie. So I pick out a fortune cookie and I open it. And I, I saved the fortune here for all of you skeptics that don't believe my stories. This fortune reads, accept the affections offered to you. They are sincere. Imagine reading that email and then opening a fortune cookie telling you to accept the affections offered to you as they are sincere. So this is, I'm dropping things. This is the fortune if for any of you that don't believe me, that's about as good as it's gonna get. But really though, that is the fortune. So then I show it to Austin and he's like, what the fuck? Like that's some weird ass shit right there. Like, like of all fortunes to get in Panda Express. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna open another fortune. Hello, it's me coming to you live with my fucking weird ass motherfucking life. I'm gonna die. But really, so I open another fortune cookie and I open this fortune cookie and it's empty. There's no fortune in the cookie. So then I'm like, okay, this is just weird. Like, I just, I just need another fortune. Like, really, like, this is just weird. I open a third fortune cookie, ladies and gentlemen. I open it up. I'm like, it's okay. Like, sometimes they're empty, whatever. I got a weird one. Like, whatever. I open it. Accept the affections offered to you. They are sincere. I throw that cookie across the Panda Express and literally get up and leave the Panda Express. I'm like, fuck this shit, fuck this shit, fuck this shit, fuck this motherfucking shit. That is so weird. Like, please physically imagine. Like, obviously, I'm not, like, saying, like, like something really weird's going on. But imagine, like, getting that email, opening a cookie, telling you to accept the offer, opening another cookie, and it's empty, opening a third cookie, and it's the same fortune telling you to accept the offer. I have chills. Like, that's so, that's, like, weird as shit. Okay, right? So then as soon as I open the third fortune cookie, I get a second email. Hi Tana, I hope I did not offend you or anything. I know my request may sound crazy, but I'm not a creep. I'm just a normal person with an odd fetish. You are hot, sexy, seductive, and lovely. I think he forgot to put 17 there, I, I don't know. Anyways, I just wish I could have the honor of drinking your golden champagne and have the privilege of tasting your shit caviar. I do realize that the toilet treats can cost a lot. Like, he's, like, referring to this like it's, like, a treat in a bag. Like, it, it's my shit. It's literally my fucking feces. Like, what do you mean? I don't mind if it's going to be expensive. I wouldn't mind offering a donation of $1,500, $750 up front for your piss and shit. 
May I suggest you a scenario where we could do this private, discreet, and anonymous? Well, it's no longer any of those things because I'm telling the story on the internet. We could do this without even having to see or meet or talk with each other. That makes it better. Now I want you to eat my DNA. Okay. How about this? I will book a nice five-star hotel of your choice. You can visit the hotel at any time that you prefer. You could get the room key from the lobby front desk. I shall wait outside in the lobby or probably go shopping somewhere else. I will have the required donation, $1,500 in cash, and a white envelope in the room. You could take the donation first. Okay, I'll just hold my shit while I fucking... Then take as much time as you like to proceed to use the toilet, pee slash poo in the porcelain bowl in the bathroom at your privacy. Make sure not to flush it though. Once you are done using the toilet, you could hand over the room key back in the lobby desk and you could leave the hotel. I will get the room key from the lobby and I would then visit the room and have your toilet treats later from the toilet bowl. What do you think of this scenario? Does this work for you? And now this is the part that made me decide that this was going to be a story time video. Here is how he ends the email. Please accept the offers that I'm presenting to you. <laughs> they are sincere. <gasps> Looking forward, Jim. What? What do you mean? So I received an email about someone asking me my piss and shit. Got a fortune cookie telling me to accept the offer because it's sincere. An empty fortune cookie, another fortune telling me to accept the offer because it is sincere. And then Jim decided to go ahead and just reassure me to accept the offer because they are sincere. What the fuck do you fucking mean? What do you mean? Okay, Jim, if you're watching this, no. But anyways, what the fuck do you mean? Like, that is some weird ass shit. Like, that is some sketchy ass, weird ass, Gmail ass, shit in a bowl ass, psychic shit. I don't know why the fortune coincides with the email or why that is. I'm not sitting here saying it's like the universe or that Jim traveled all the way to Reno, Nevada from Las Vegas, Nevada to give me Panda Express fortunes that tell me to accept his offer. I don't know why, why, but that's the story. <laughs> So no, I'm not gonna be eating any piss and shit anytime soon. I mean, I totally appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Um, if you could tell me how you did the whole fortune email thing, that would be so cool, because I literally have chills right now. I'm like, what the fuck do you fucking mean? <laughs> My life is a shit show. Tana, are you ever gonna run out of stories? Fuck no, because this shit keeps happening. <laughs> subscribe. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this absolutely fucking, absolutely crazy fucking motherfucking nuts ass eat my shit ass story, make sure to subscribe, like this video, all of my links are below, you can like my brand new and only one that I have Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff, check out my merch because I will be releasing some new merch soon, we now have some bleach and tone phone cases, so if you want to get a phone case, they are super cute and pink and girly and I love them and I can't wait to get home to Vegas to put one on my phone, I freaking adore them and yeah if you get any merch always make sure to show me pictures on twitter and instagram but now i'm just gonna shut up with all of my links and whatnot and go so i love you guys so much thank you for watching thank you for your support and i will talk to you in the next video bye